Welcome to your Pilates Reformer New Year Jumpstart program. This is day seven, our final day. I can't believe we made it all the way to the end. Today we're gonna do just a good all arounder. If you are wondering where to go from here, I will be extending this workout series on my membership subscription. Please join me there. I think you'll really enjoy not only those workouts, but the whole catalog of exclusive content I have there. And of course, if you're not yet subscribed, please subscribe. It's a way you can support me while I'm putting out this free content, as well as if you take a moment to please like this video and leave a comment. It really goes a long way in, in helping me grow. Let's begin with one heavy spring and one light spring. On my balanced body reformer, that's one red, one blue. Headrest will be up, meet me lying down on the mat. I forgot to mention, if you'd like to make this a longer workout today, stick around to the end. I will be including a link to another video that you can tag on to make this a full length workout. All right, we will begin with hands and straps today. We've done a number of variations on this in this seven day series. This will be a new set that we haven't done before. So arms will extend up to the ceiling. We're gonna reach the fingertips long. Legs come to tabletop, shins parallel to the ceiling, knees right over hips as we have been doing. We'll start out with our basic lat press. Hands come down and up. We're gonna exhale, down and up. Let's continue on for five. Just warming up to start. Four, finding our core connection and our lats, using our breath. Last two like this. And one, good. Now we're gonna continue with a roll up and if we can, an extension of 45. Big breath in, exhale, extend the legs and back. Roll up, head, neck and chest lift, extend the legs and back. Let's go for three. Last two, zipping the abs up on your exhale. One, hold here. We're gonna bring the right knee into chest and switch. Let right knee in left knee in let's inhale inhale exhale exhale lift up a little taller in your curl reach the fingertips forward relax your shoulders back wide collarbone let's go three switch two switch last one switch legs to tabletop arms up place your feet on the foot bar for a quick second we're going to rock the knees side to side deep breath in Good. Now let's bring legs to tabletop, arms will come in. Same concept, both knees will come in and out. We did this on a previous day, great for lower abs. Let's take a big inhale, exhale, roll up. We're gonna bring both knees into chest, exhale, inhale, extend. Exhale in, extend the legs. Good, let's go for five. Four, curl up a little higher. Three, if your neck gets too tired, place it down. Two, and one. Good, legs to tabletop, place the feet down. Rock your knees side to side. Release your head, rock it side to side. We will do coordination next. So similar in that we're gonna keep our curl up, but we're gonna do a series of leg and arm motions, which will require a little bit more brain power. So we will start in our same preparatory position, legs to tabletop, nice and parallel with the shins. Give yourself some room between the shoulders and the shoulder blocks. Deep breath in, exhale, curl. We're gonna hold that curl, open the legs, close the legs, knees in. Elbows bend to a tricep extension. Arms and legs extend. Open, close with the legs. Knees in, hands back. Exhale, extend. Open, close. Knees in, arms bend. Both extend. Open, close. Knees bend, arms extend. Two more. Open, close. If your head gets too tired, you can place it down, but try to keep it up. Open, close. Knees in, arms in. Good. Lower everything down. Oh boy, let's rock the knees side to side. And we'll get ready to move on in one sec. All right, let's take the straps off of the hands. We'll continue on with a nice feet and straps. So right foot will go into the right strap. Left foot will go into the left strap. The legs extend up to the ceiling. We'll begin in parallel. Take it nice and easy. We'll just do about four or five lower and lifts just to get connected to the back of our legs. Once again, we want to really be creasing at the hip. You want that sensation of the bottom of your sacrum being heavy on the mat. So not like you're arched into the back. We don't want our ribs coming up, but we do want to see if we can maintain a natural 
sort of curve in the low back and use our abs to support us in that position. If you have back pain, of course, you can imprint. Good, last one. Let's go right into our leg circles. Open the legs, draw them down around, squeeze them together at the bottom and close, keeping our neutral spine. Now we don't want the legs going so low that our back is, lo is losing its position and we're losing the core connection. In fact, at classical Pilates, the circle is quite small. I want you to keep it only as wide as you can control it. So if your pelvis and your ribs and your spine start really going for a wild dance, make the range of motion a little smaller. It's more about the core control here. Let's take our last one in this direction. We, re we reverse, lower down, open at the bottom, draw down, around, squeeze together at the top, and reverse. Good. Keep track of what's going on with your spine. Relax your forehead muscles, release any tension in your jaw. Sometimes when I think too hard, I really furrow my brow. So just think about creating space between your eyebrows. Keep that work in your core and in your legs. Last one. Nice. We're gonna go for a big straddle next. Pilates V, lower down to your low point. Flex the feet, bring the legs wide. We did this one on an earlier day. Point the toes, bring the legs together. Flex the feet, let the legs go wide. It can be as wide as you like or as narrow as you like. Point the toes, bring it together. Inhale, extend out, exhale, together, three more. Last two. And one, very nice, good. Soles of the feet together, knees apart, feet come down to the mat or into the well, hold the ropes. Give yourself a little support, you can relax your abs. Good, feel your diaphragm expand up and down, relaxing your abdomen, relaxing your pelvic floor on that inhale. All right, so let's extend the legs up to the ceiling, reach behind you, place your head headrest to the downward position. That's very important. You need to place your headrest down, so please do that now. I don't want you to crunch your spine. If you have any spinal issues in your back or your neck, this might be a good one to skip unless you know you can do it. We will start with the legs in parallel. We're gonna just scoot away from the shoulder blocks first. Lower the legs down, inhale as you go. As you exhale, you're gonna think about creasing at the hip. Send your toes up and over. Hips are gonna lift. Bend your knees in, you can separate your knees at the top. Exhale, roll down. Try to keep the carriage still. Your knees are gonna extend to start, roll down as far as you can, then kick your, or bend your knees, bring your heels in. Extend out, legs to parallel. Hinge at your hips. Lift the legs up, 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 up. Close the stopper gently with control once you're there. Bend the knees, opening the knees just ever so slightly or as wide as your shoulders or carriage, I should say. Roll down as far as you can. Bend the knees into your thighs. or bringing the heels to your thighs. Extend out, legs parallel. Fold at the hips, reach the feet up and over. Close the stopper. Bend the knees, opening as wide as your machine. Roll down, keep the carriage still. Heels to your thighs, bending the knees. Extend out, let's do one more. Hopefully this feels like a nice massage to your spine. Good, bend your knees, roll down, keeping the straps right where they are, carriage still, and extend out. Very good, let's flex the feet, bring the heels right over your hips. Give yourself a nice hamstring stretch here. Good, we can go for a Peter Pan stretch, right leg out to the side, left leg bends, pull the rope in toward your waist, switch sides when you're ready, left leg out, right leg in, pull the left rope toward your side, flexing that foot, 
And when you're ready, let's take the straps off the feet. Let's move on. So next, let's take off the light spring so we're just on one heavy spring. For me, that's one red. Grab the straps next to you. We're gonna come to facing the poles. So for this one, you can be seated cross-legged facing this direction. I'm just gonna sit down on my heels with my knees bent, do whatever your mobility likes today. Let's take the straps into our hands. We're gonna sit up really tall, so you don't wanna be sort of sinking into your low back or rounding through the spine. You wanna think about length through your low back without arching the thoracic spine or your upper spine back. So ribs down, long lumbar spine, arms by your sides, palms are gonna be facing back. Think about growing taller as you press the palms back behind you, but we're not sticking the chest out, right? Keeping the ribs down. Think about someone pulling a string from the top of your head up to the ceiling. So we press the hands back. Think about this movement starting with the muscles around your shoulder blades, your back muscles. So it's almost like your shoulder blades begin moving together and down before the hands even press into the spine. I know that sounds funny, but for me, that's the best thing to visualize to get that back activation first. So really anytime we move our arms, ideally that's gonna be powered by our back first, right? That's our stable supporting base, or at least it should be. But for a lot of us, specifically anyone who's hypermobile, anybody who works at a desk a lot, anyone who's on a phone a lot or is doing childcare, those muscles can get really weak and extended out. We wanna strengthen them and give them some more support, right? Let's do two. And one, press it back. You're gonna grow taller, look to your right, look to your left, center. Arms come back to forward. Exhale, push back, look left, look right, center. Bring it back, good, once more. Press back, look right, look left, and back to center. Very nice. While we're here, let's do one more for back. Arms are gonna extend long in front of you. You're still seated in whatever position is comfortable. Palms are gonna be facing each other, grasping the straps. While we're here, we're gonna open the arms out to a T, squeezing the shoulder blades together in the back and bring it back. So what we don't wanna do is yank on the ropes and use momentum to get us there. That's not gonna do a whole lot for us. We still wanna engage our back muscles first before we really start pulling with the hands or engaging the shoulders. We wanna feel that shoulder blade gliding movement. So it's almost like the shoulder blade is gliding along your back, squeezing toward your spine as the hands press back and gliding away from the spine along your back as the hands come forward. Let's go for three. And of course your core has to work really hard to hold your torso upright in this position without wiggling around too much. Good. And while we're here, let's place the straps on the palms, but this time we're going to face the palms forward and low. So it's almost like you're drawing an A shape with your arms from your head to your fingertips. We're gonna press the palms back and low, bring the hands forward. Spine is long, back and low, bring the arms forward. See if you can get your lower traps, so the mid back muscles, right around your spine, but kind of in the deeper layer. If you're feeling a lot of upper traps, meaning your muscles right between your shoulders and your neck, take the spring load down a little bit, see if that helps them turn off. I'm getting a little bit of that myself. Last one. Good, okay, let's move on. Let's turn to face the foot bar. I'm gonna stay in a cross-legged position. You could be kneeling or whatever you like for this one. Kneeling will give you a little bit more resistance, particularly if you're lifting through, you're lifting your hips up. Straps are on the palms and the crook of your thumb. We're gonna sit up really tall. Once again, ribs down, length through your low back. Bring your hands to your shoulders. So we're gonna try to keep this really seated high position. Exhale, push through the straps, palms stay down without rounding through the spine. Bend the elbows, bring them back, hands come to your shoulders again, squeezing your shoulder blades together in the back without popping through the ribs. <sighs> Exhale, push through the, the straps. Grow taller as the elbows come back and you squeeze the back behind you. <sighs> Core is on to support. 
and back. Shoulder blades gliding along your back. Moving away from the spine as the hands press forward and toward the spine as the hands come back. The more that gliding motion you can have in that area, the more functional your back and shoulders are gonna to learn to be. Good, let's go for three. Last two, control the spring on the way back. And last one. Now we move to single arm, alternating sides. Right arm forward and back. Left arm forward and back. Keep it going, right arm forward and back. Left arm forward, slow and steady and back. Other side and back. You have to use a lot of core here to stay upright and back. Last set. And switch. My light just went out. Let's reach the arms up, out, and around. Get a little stretch through the shoulders. Let's move on. Then I'll fix my light. All right, we'll finish up with a little sideline glutes and then a stretch, and then I'll get you out of here. So we're gonna come to lying down on your right side. Headrest will stay down. Bring that strap onto the arch, or over the arch of your left foot onto your thigh once again. If you have a long loop and that's more comfortable on your leg, you can of course do that. I'm gonna start with my head down on my bicep. You could put it on your hand or a little yoga block as a pillow. Lengthen through the top of your waist. Stack your two hips on top of each other. We're gonna flex the feet. Lift and lower that top leg. Lower down, support yourself through the core. We did this one earlier on in the series. We're gonna add on to it a little bit. This is five. And down. Four. Three. The carriage can move a little bit, that's okay. And again, we're not lifting the knee more than the ankle. Good, bring it back up to hip height. We're gonna internally rotate knee to knee. Lift, heel to heel or toe to toe. Lift, knee to knee. Lift, heel to heel. So with the knee, you don't need to overshoot it. We just wanna stack the knees, stack the heels. No twisting through your hips, ideally. Good, three more. Getting lots of rotation as we're working here and really emphasize the lift each time that will help really work your rotation and your glutes as much as we can. And one, back to hip height, flexed foot. Start with knee over knee, check in with your spine, make sure you've got a little lift through your bottom rib. Circles to the outside, let's go for eight. Seven, so you're not extending the knee, you're keeping that bent at a right angle. Good, five. Four, really feeling the glutes start to burn, huh? Last two. And one. Reverse. Keep that lift in your bottom waist. Hips are still stacked. Eight. Seven. Make sure you're still breathing. Five. Four. Returning with control. Last two, and one, lower down, pound it out if you need to. You're gonna take this strap off of your thigh, shimmy it over your foot, hold onto that rope for a little support, close the stopper, let's turn on to our back and go on to the other side. So I will be facing the other direction. If you, I'll be talking you through every step if you can't see every detail. We will be lying on the left side of your torso, push away from the foot bar, we're gonna shimmy the strap over the ankle, on, over the knee, onto the thigh. Head is resting on your bicep or your arm. Lengthen through your top waist. You're gonna have a little bit, of, little bit of lift under your waist here on the lower side. Flex the feet, we lift and lower for eight, seven. A little movement in the carriage is fine, but we want stable torso, stable pelvis, support through the abs. This is four, three, and we don't need to lift the legs so far that we're rocking back with the hips. We want the hips to stay anchored here 
and one. Lift, knee to knee. Lift, heel to heel or toe to toe. Keep that lift in the waist. Knee to knee. Big lift, heel to heel or toe to toe. Big lift, find that rotation. This is how we get improvements in our internal and external rotation, which can have a lot to do with our hip health, your pelvic floor health, as well as your back sometimes. Good, four more. Last three, exhale as you push into the strap. Final two. And one. Good, rest it down for a second. Usually the second side is a lot harder because you're already a little tired from the first side. Restack yourself, press the top hip away, find that lift through the bottom of your waist. We're gonna flex the feet, lift to hip height, circle to the outside for eight. And again, we're keeping your leg bent at a right angle, we're not extending the knee. This is five. Keep your core supported. Four. Also check in with your shoulder on the top. Don't let that sink forward. Oftentimes we tend to curl through the top shoulder when we don't need to. Last one. We reverse. Let's go for eight. Wow, this is really starting to become difficult. Seven. Six, use control as you return. Don't let the spring move you back. We need that work through the glutes. Last three, keep your waist lifted. Two, and one, very good. Lower it down, pound out through the glutes. That felt really hard. <laughs> Let's pull on the rope, shimmy the strap off of your right leg. Rotate onto your back. Sit on up when you're ready. Let's add a light spring on so we're on a heavy and a light. For me, that's a red and a blue. Carefully lie back down on your machine. Your headrest can go up for this part if you like. Press away against the foot bar. You can place the strap on the left foot. Reach it up to the ceiling. Give yourself some room between your shoulders and the shoulder blocks. Hold the rope with your left hand for support. Cross your right ankle over your left knee. Bend the left knee. Let that rope come in on the inside of your knee. And feel that spring load kind of deep in your stretch. If this feels like too much, you can close the stopper and take off the light spring so you're just on one red. Good, you can push a little bit into your right thigh if you like. That feels really nice after we did all that glute work. When you're ready, push into the left strap. Take that strap off of the foot, close the stopper. You're gonna find the right strap. Place it onto the arch of your right foot. Extending that up to the ceiling. Put pressure into the strap. Place your left foot over your right knee. Flex the foot, bend the right knee. You can hold onto the rope for support if you need to. Push into your left thigh ever so slightly. Feel that spring load deep in your stretch here. Big breath in. Exhale, feel the stretch increase just a little bit more. Hold onto the rope. Push through your right foot. Find the foot bar with your left foot and take the strap off of your right foot. Close the carriage. Walk your feet as wide as the foot bar. Windshield wiper the knees side to side. Just let your top hip fall over to the side with the knees. Take a big breath in. Exhale, release. Good. Let's go for the other side. Both knees to the left. Let your top hip wrap over. Deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. Let's go one more time. Both knees right. Top hip comes with it. Exhale, release. Last time, both knees left. Top hip goes with it. Close your eyes, big breath in. Exhale, let it go. You are done. Thank you so much. You did it. You finished all seven days. I'm so proud of you. Thank you so much for being here with me. If you would like to continue the series for some additional days, please join my membership subscription. I'll include the link down below. I will be posting more daily workouts there to stretch this out for a few more days. And in addition to that, there's a ton of exclusive content there with a bunch of fun variations and props work that will help you sort of take your practice to the next level. And of course, if you've not yet subscribed, please subscribe. If you'd like to extend this workout, I'll 
include a link at the very end with an option that I think would work really well for you. Thank you so much to my membership supporters as always and super duper extra special thanks to my folks who have been with me for six months or more. I so appreciate you all. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon.